everyone to the State of the Nation, now with Sri Lanka defaulting. Thanks to the leadership of the current governor of the central bank, our investment opportunities, if we had any prior to the default, went belly up. Our promising business ventures are still eyeing Sri Lanka, especially from China and the Global East. The West seems to be broke and full of problems. Although the United States ambassador act as if she will do her very best to help Sri Lanka get back on track, direct investments from the United States in recent times have been very low. Let's get some insight into this and for that joining me now is the State Minister of in Investment Promotion, Dilum Avunukuma. Thank you very much sir for being here, appreciate it. Now what is Sri Lanka's potential in terms of investment? Have we managed to make Sri Lanka a lucrative business destination after the whole uh, economic debacle of last year? Well, Mahesh, we are working on it uh, right now. There are certain changes. Uh, the President has the Minister of Investment also that he wants to uh, make, especially with the rules and the regulations. So, uh, right now, uh, we have appointed an oversight committee uh, and we are waiting for we are waiting for their report to be presented where we will be coming up with a comprehensive investment law which will uh, facilitate investors and also encourage investors, to, uh, especially the investors who have already invested, will uh, be entitled to certain uh, concessions and also it will be quite attractive for new investors coming in. So uh, this is the long term plan. Uh, we are hoping that the oversight committee will uh, have the report out in a couple of months and maybe somewhere end of this year or beginning of 2024, we can start off with the new rules. Minister, how is your ministry promoting Port City? I understand that it falls under another jurisdiction, but still, there's a prime opportunity to bring lucrative business to the country. Yeah, now Port City, we are working on the regulations. Most of the regulations have been passed in Parliament and gazetted. Uh, the most essential regulation was the BSI, that is the Business of Strategic Importance, which is the regulation which will state what the financial operation will look like within the port city. So that includes the concessions given to them, uh, the financial rules and regulations like offshore banking, gaming and all that. So uh, we have about 16, 17 investors who have already engaged with the port city uh, commission uh, who are pending approval of this BSI. So uh, it has been approved in cabinet and it's with the legal draftsman. Once it's out, it will be in parliament and then gazetted. So then we can have the investors uh, physically engaging uh, in the port city. And we are pushing hard because this is the new financial city that we want to develop uh, in Colombo. Of course, there won't be any manufacturing within that, but it will be all uh, financial and business activity in the port city. Uh, construction is on schedule. We have uh, discussed and we have funded the power, water and sewerage uh, connections. Uh, the Czech company is doing a good job uh, on uh, executing whatever the contract they have taken over. So uh, it's very positive, it's very positive and we have uh, so many uh, investors and companies, especially uh, top class uh, businesses in the world who want to have their uh, maybe their headquarter or their back office in Port City. Indeed understood. All right, we have to leave it at that. Thank you very much. That was the State Minister of Investment Promotion, Dilim Amunikola. A short break now. This is the State of the Nation. Back in a moment.